Right now at 11, a Wareham man charged with murdering his father, and investigators say he used an untraceable ghost gun to kill him. And it's those types of weapons the state wants to ban. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Chris Tanaka. Right now, lawmakers are wrestling with dozens of bills to tighten some of the toughest gun laws in the country. We want to get straight to Tammy Mutasa, who's live tonight at the State House. Tammy. Chris, tonight some lawmakers say these ghost guns have become a major public safety problem and their push to crack down comes as a son is accused of shooting his own father with a ghost gun just last night. She heard screaming and could make out the words, I think I killed my father. Robert Gomes III faced a judge charged with shooting his own father to death. Police say Gomes even called 911 after the shooting. Then detectives found 61 year old Robert Gomes Jr. dead on their back porch in Wareham. Prosecutors say the son had used a ghost gun to kill his dad. This is a firearm that had no serial number, was ordered offline, is essentially a ghost gun. The tragic shooting happened as state lawmakers are pushing to crack down on those untraceable ghost guns. Ghost guns are just as deadly as a gun that is bought from a licensed gun dealer. On Tuesday, House and Senate leaders heard testimony on 56 firearms bills, including one the House passed that would ban having or making ghost guns without a federal firearms license. Representative Linsky hopes the Senate will take up the ghost gun bill as it looks to come up with its own gun reforms next year. Probably the most significant public safety issue facing our police today. A majority of the crime guns that are currently recovered in Boston and in Springfield and in some other urban communities are in fact ghost guns. If they're prohibited people in position of uh, gun parts, hammer them. Let's go get them. And even Second Amendment advocates like the executive director of Gun Owners Action League agree it's time for reform, especially going after criminals. There's no such thing as a ghost gun with lawful gun owners because if we build a gun, which we're entitled to, we report it. You have to. The Senate president says he wants to get a gun bill before the governor by next July. In the meantime, Gomes is being held without bail. Live on Beacon Hill, Tammy Matassa, WBZ News. All right, Tammy, thank you for that. Right now, police.